I thought I'd wear my robe today because when any of us are doing a face mask, do we get dressed up to put a face mask on? I don't think so. Hey guys, it's me Lizzie, and I'm here with a, another Mask Monday. Today we are going to try Miss Spa's Pore Minimizing Peel Off Mask. I'm going to zoom up so you can see my pores right now. I've been doing this with a warm washcloth to open my pores to try to get them the biggest they can be all opened so this mask can be most effective. So here's my before. Now usually with this mask, I just like to put it on my nose and on my cheeks a little, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put it all over my face. I'm just gonna get started putting it on and then we'll talk about everything it advertises that it does. This is a clear mask. This mask is really sticky, but it is pretty easy to work with. Usually when I put this mask on, I don't do the warm towel to open my pores. I usually just do this after my face is clean. Um, but for the video, I wanted to try to get the most of showing how much it closes the pores. Like I said, I usually just do my nose and my cheeks. And with this little packet, I can get three or four uses out of it. Now I try to put it on evenly so it peels evenly. I don't know how much on camera you can see the product. It might just be making me look really greasy. That's okay, man. And you can pretty much immediately feel it drying. But it depends on how thick your mask is. Um, for the actual drying time. I think I have it all over my face. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with it being clear. I'm going to close up on what the mask looks like. So while it's drying, let's talk about the mask itself. I have used this mask for about a year now because I actually bought the mask because I was on Ulta.com and I needed just like a dollar to get free shipping. So, I think these are $1.50 or $3. I know they can go on sale all the time. So I've bought them at both prices, I believe. But I'll put the price without sale somewhere around me. And this is by Miss Spa. Again, I got it at Ulta. On the front it says, Pore Minimizing Facial Peel-Off Mask. Refines and D emphasizes pores with tea tree extract and this is single-use application but I um, like I said I just usually use it on my pore areas that I need help with and sometimes I put it in a bag but this one kind of spilled everywhere or I fold it over and put bobby pins in it to have it not dry out and then I can use it again so that's a hack for you if you want to get more than one use out of it because there's still a lot of product in this one, I'm probably going to do the same and use it another time. Um, help reduce the appearance of enlarged pores with Miss Spa Pore Minimizing Facial Peel Off Mask. With the purifying benefits of the tea tree extract, it helps remove excess dirt and oil, reveal smoother skin and more refined complexion. Directions of use, clean your face and dry thoroughly, open pouch and open mask on a thin layer, avoiding eyes and lips. After 15 minutes of mask completely drying, slowly peel off the mask, rinse with water. All it says for directions and what it advertises for. And like I said, I really do like this mask. Another way I like to use this mask, I like to do a pore strip first and get out all the blackheads, and sometimes I do steam my face a little bit with a warm rag 
and to open the pores and then I put this over it and it says it can remove dirt and excess oil and then it closes the pores back up. So I think that's like the best combination to get the pores on your nose like in check, you know what I mean? Also, this is the first peel off mask I've ever used. Um, and the first Miss Spa product I've ever used. If you want me to use any other Miss Spa products, please, please leave me a comment down below and I will check them out. So, yes, this one says 15 minutes. So I'm actually, am going to time this one. Last time on Mask Monday, I just waited till it dried because that's how I usually do it. Um, so there we go. It makes you look really plastic. But yeah, this is so fun. And if you're like having a slumber party and you want to do peel off masks or something, you could totally get one of these and you could probably get for a full face maybe one or two uses like per person. If you just do spot treatments, you could do get like three or four. Um, so yes, and these are also really cheap, I think. I don't know where else you can get Miss Spa. Like I said, I get mine at Ulta and with Ulta, you can't really beat it because you could build up points and those points can equal money and eventually you could probably just get these for free so definitely check out Ulta get your points built up and you can get these for free eventually or you know it's just a nice system that Ulta has while the mask is drying it does feel pretty tightening too if my subscribers that have already been here if you're liking Mask Monday please let me know that you're a longtime subscriber and you're liking this because sometimes on my channel I don't know what my subscribers really like. I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and some makeup stuff, but is this what you want out of this channel? Or um, if you have a suggestion on how I can make it better, please let me know because that will be very helpful. I'm really trying to grow the channel and put more content out. It's just really fun for me and I don't know, I'm in a place in my life where I know, I'm just really happy and inspired and I've always wanted to do YouTube videos and I don't know, I'm just really excited. So I don't really know where I'm going on this tangent anymore, but leave me a comment down below if you like these videos. So I think I'm going to come back once it's fully dry and check in with you guys. Okay, the timer is up. And now my face is feeling really, really tight. So I'm gonna show you close up while it's already dried. So here it is dried, um, just really shiny. You look like plastic. So I'm going to start peeling it. Okay, now you could go from the bottom and try to raise it up, but since the edges are so thin, it'd be kind of hard. So you could just start making weird faces like this, and it starts peeling it. I'll close that up. Let's see. Yeah. So it's usually easiest to start like that. Let's see if I can just get closer because I bet there's a lot of people that would like to watch the peel. Um, if you don't like watching, I guess you could just skip. But this is a peel mask, so I don't think anybody's like that in this video. I don't. I don't think anyone would click on it if they didn't like that. So here I am, close up. Again, my camera doesn't have a side viewfinder thing so it's always a guess so i'm just going to start on this side so y'all can see and this doesn't hurt like it doesn't pull out any peach fuzz it's just pretty mild It does get a little bit more sensitive around the eyes, um, but 
But it's just like if you had glue on your fingers and you just peeled it, like it's nothing harsher than that. Make sure your face mask is dry or it won't peel off as nicely. <laughs> this looks like one of those genie mask thingies. <laughs> I did get some in my eyebrow, but since this is pretty gentle, my eyebrows should be fine. Um, I'm pretty sure I've gotten it in my eyebrows before. Oops. that temple kind of hurt a little bit if you have any like little leftovers you could just take a warm washcloth um yeah just take a washcloth and it'll take it right off for you that looks so creepy you can see my nose holes but yeah my face feels really smooth now i just need to take a washcloth too all this extra outline and in my eyebrows to remove the excess. So I'm going to close up after I clean off my face. I don't know if you could tell, but I could tell a difference. It doesn't completely close them up, but it makes them a lot smaller and your face just appears smoother and I love that. So yes, I love this mask. I'm going to continue to repurchase it. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a suggestion for what kind of mask I should do next, please leave it in a comment down below. And if you like these videos, please subscribe if you already haven't. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.